Welcome back to work on a superyacht. My Franks, they both look exactly the same, but why is this one so much heavier? The answer can be found in what gets attached to them. This one, which weighs about two and a half kilos, is connected to 30 meters of floating line. Whereas this one, which weighs about four kilos, is connected to a man overboard light and smoke. We've got two of these units, each with its own life ring, one on the port side bridge wing and the other on the starboard side bridge wing. Unlike what you see here, this man overboard light and smoke is actually designed to be mounted on the outboard side of the railings with a clear drop to the water. As per the bridge procedures guide, in the event of a man overboard scenario, the first job of the officer of the watch or lookout is to go out to the bridge wing on the side that the casualty has gone over and throw over the man overboard life buoy with light and smoke. The man overboard light and smoke is connected to the life buoy with a piece of rope that measures four meters in length. A four kilo life buoy that falls four meters is capable of generating enough force to pull the light and smoke out of its bracket, which in turn automatically starts the smoke, switches on the lights and marks the position of the man overboard. That is why this is heavier than this, to ensure that when this goes over the side, it has enough force to pull the MOB light and smoke out of its bracket. It should be noted that just as you see here, most superiors don't put their life buoys and man overboard light and smoke signals on the outboard side of the vessel either because it would look unsightly or because there is less than four meters in height between the bridge wings and the surface of the water below. That is why you'll typically find them here on the inboard side of the vessel. To launch them, we must do what's called a manual launch. Basically, you take the life ring as normal, but then you pull the man overboard light and smoke out of the bracket manually, then throw the whole lot over the side. The additional weight is therefore not really of any use here, but nevertheless, the four kilo specification still remains. On a side note, if you're ever working in the vicinity of a man overboard light and smoke, please be very careful not to accidentally pull it out of its bracket. The smoke will be started automatically and it cannot be switched off. As per the warning on the top of this unit, the best thing to do in the event of accidental release is to throw it over the side, because you do not want thick orange smoke being blown across the deck and possibly even being sucked up into the interior of the yacht. As always, thank you so much for watching. For more videos about all things yachting, please do check out the rest of the channel. And with respect to this video, if you found some value in it, a like would be fantastic, a sub would be amazing, and I very much look forward to seeing you next time.